in the tables. Um, this is here is a definition from the textbook. You can have a um, simple and quick read. Database describes a collection of data organized in a manner that allows to access a retrieval and use of that data. You can access this access including um, search, um, insert, delete, or update. Uh, it's, you can you, you can do do that operations on the table. Um, through this access, access software to manage the data. Uh, and this, uh, what is database manage system? Access is, is a simple, is a very simple version. Um, uh, this kind of software that is database manage system. Um, this kind of system, as I said, allows you to uh, use a computer to create a database. Yes, we can build a database. And we can add, change, and delete the data in the database. The database uh, is composed of the basic uh, element of database is the tables, different tables. For example, there are students' uh, information, students' table, a teacher, table inside a database for a school or for some system. Uh, and uh, you can search the student's information, ask and answer questions. For example, you, you know a student ID and you can search, uh, you can use this, uh, this student, student ID as a search key to, uh, to require, request the students' information, for example, like the uh, home address, students' name, and the grade, something like that. And also, uh, database, database manage system uh, allows you to create some, some forms and reports using the data exists in the database. Uh, you make the reports, then you can have a clear look about the information, data information. And this access, uh, our access uh, software, Microsoft soft access is a database manager system. And this, is, this one is the most simple one. Um, almost is easy to learn and is a uh, very a light version. Uh, it's easy and the price is not uh, expensive and easy to operate, easy to learn, and, and it support um, support uh, support uh, support most uh, operation operations. Uh, and there are some more or complex versions of database, database managed systems. Uh, they are for some big, big um, organizations like the banks and the school system or medical system uh, or some big company. Uh, but this uh, access is very good for some small business. And also, you can uh, it's possible for some programming language, database language. Uh, here is a basic concept of the uh, access. What success, uh, access is, and here uh, I said, as I said, access is some kind of uh, uh, similar to Excel. They are all two operations on the Data information. Uh, they have many similarities. Um, Access and Excel, they both uh, can store large amount of data. Uh, they can run powerful queries and analysis. Uh, they, they are. They have that kind of tools, and they can for, um, perform some. Uh, sophisticated 
cal uh, calculations, some complex uh, calculations, they both can do that. But uh, it's all uh, more good, uh, much more good at do calculations. Uh, except, um, each has clear advantage. Access advantage is to um, we use it more to do uh, the maintain maintenance. Maintain we can maintain, use it to maintain the data integrity in a format that can be accessed by multiple users. And uh, Excel Excel um, Excel. So if we have a lot of data, we can do the analysis um, as we learned, we use the chart, data chart, and some filters to do uh, some uh, deeper analysis. Um, okay, let's their advantages after the projects maybe you can have you can be more clear about the difference about the uh, in, yes in many cases uh, you can use both of them if just uh, you just want to inst uh, to store some some simple inf information you can use Excel. I think Excel, um, we are more familiar with it. If for some uh, security reason, or a little bit not, not very, uh, very, very um, strict security reason, you can, uh, for some small business, you can use the sets to build a database. Um, in general, yes, in general, access is better for managing data, managing the data, uh, create tables, create new information, and multi users um, can access it at the same time. Um, but Excel can do this too. So they don't have very clear boundaries. Excel is generally um, better for analyzing data. The, the, this is the same as last, last slide. Sure. Uh, okay, here is a general concept of access. Um, let's have a look, have a, a look at the, at this software. Here are the two tables we are going to build inside the a database. Uh, what we are going to do for our project? These three projects are um, built. Uh, we only operate one database. We are going to create one database is called a uh, bread last also associate uh, just a name and um, the second uh, for the second class the first class we built this database second class we are going to do some maintenance some uh, mod modification some improvement continue learning through the, this database these two tables. Uh, uh, mm, okay, let's see what this uh, tables, the meaning of this project. Um, just two tables inside this database. The first one is the account information. Uh, it's very, uh, actually it's not, not complex. An uh, account number. Uh, you can imagine it's, it's, your, it's very similar to your, um, your, your credit card information. Uh, you have an account number and you have account name, uh, your address, 
and your amount paid is money. You can add, you can add, we are going to build each of these uh, fields, this column head, we call it column head in Excel files. And uh, the date, due date, now this is a current, current due. And uh, this is um, manager, account manager. Account manager, we can map it, map it to the other, the other table. You can see, this is account table, and this is account manager table. Um, if you want to know this um, account manager's detailed information, you can go to this table to uh, to 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 see it, to search it. Uh, Thirty one. For example, 31 mapped to this information. And for the other, 35 mapped to the second one, uh, 58 here, and 42. 42, we don't have our date, 42 here. Uh, um, okay. This is the map, the, uh, the relation of these two tables. Mm, we are going to build these two tables uh, page by page, step by step. If, uh, okay, do you have any questions? If no, now you can. Uh, you can start to open your access, access software to create a new database. You can create a new database. Uh, you can find it if you click your start, start menu, just as you find your Excel and Word. And after you open, Come to this backstage view. Click new and click this blank database. Then here you enter the database name. We are going to get, give it a name. And then you choose a location, choose a location to sell. If you are using the virtual machine, you can save it to, uh, to you can save it to the de desktop, but um, make sure you save to your OneDrive or email somewhere else save to make sure you can find it next class. After create, uh, after name it and click this create, create button and you get this page, this page. I don't know how to save it to my OneDrive from there. Mm. Let me see. Oh, this is not accept. Uh, actually, it's sim similar to the other to to the Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. If you can save it in OneDrive, you can save it to your desktop. I should save it to my desktop. But yeah, your, your desktop is also okay, but uh, make sure you move it away because after you close the uh, virtual machine, it's going to delete everything. You, you can, oh, okay. It says act 
access not responding for me. Oh wait, I got it. Never mind, it loaded. Okay. Let's see. Sir. Yes. Every time I open up the thing we downloaded, I keep a. Uh, it keeps opening in Excel, not in Access. Not Access. Are you using the virtual machine? Yeah, it opens. It opens up in Excel. Open oh, Excel. It's supposed to open up as Excel. You're supposed to open Access as by yourself. Oh, okay. I'm gonna bug it out. And uh, everyone got this open. Professor, um, I always use the on online version. So how can I um, access? Um, as I said, the online version does not include the access. Yeah. So how can yeah. I get it? Uh, you 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 need to install the. Uh, VM, um, oh, VM. VM Horizon chart? Yes. Okay. I, I already installed it in the beginning. I was just using the online version. But um, it's asking for the password. What's the password again? Uh, the password? Yeah. You, you need to use your CUNY, uh, CUNY 1st account to log in. So it's my CUNY 1st password? Yes, can they first account? Uh, it's email the... password. Oh, okay. So which one do I press though? I already signed in. Uh, 23 or 25, these two I both can use. Uh, is it Windows 10 all software? No, uh, V23 or 25, let me see. Not see that. It gives me different options. It's like SAS, SPSS. Yeah, she's telling you it's yes. yes. a 25 or a 23. Mm. I think oh, okay. So that SPSS 23? Yeah, 23. Okay. Uh, uh, these two, if one of them doesn't work, you can try another. These two are both okay. It says it's currently busy. Uh, so you can try another one. Yeah, I tried the, the 23 and it still says the same thing. You can try 25. I tried 23 and 25. They're both busy? Yeah. Okay, let me try. If so you have to wait. Let me see how about 22. I, I never tried the 22. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Uh, do you have access, ASAC? Yes. I okay. forgot about the class. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Access. Yes. I we just start the project. Oh, um, Valerie, you can yes. you can use twenty two. You can try twenty two. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was able to access twenty two actually. Oh, okay. I'm in twenty two now, and uh, click the start menu. The first one is access. We're doing a blank database, right? Yes, you download, go to Blackboard to download the slide if you like. Oh, we should download it? We, we can't just follow you? It's okay if you don't download the slides, but you need to download the Excel file. Why? But I, I watch, I'm watching your slides. 
You you can just follow my slide, but uh, I have two, another file, several files we are going to use for this project. Oh, okay, I'll download it. Yeah. Okay, the virtual machine may be a little bit slow. Um, we'll make sure everyone is not far behind. If you are, uh, you can go faster and you understand everything, you can go faster. Mm. Okay. And uh, Valeria and uh, uh, Sarah, are you all got this page now? Yeah, I have it. It's just not letting me save it to OneDrive, so I don't know. Oh, uh, it's okay. You can attach to your email to save it, okay? Okay, so I don't know how to do that. So after class, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, be before you close this machine, just um, attach to your email. Professor, so what should I do with the Excel file now? Uh, it's called the account dot. Yeah, so what, what should I do with it? I, I opened it. Uh, you just save it. Okay. Yeah. Save it. We are going to use it today. Maybe today. Maybe we can use it today. Maybe next class. Just for this this project. <laughs> Not sure. Later we will use it later. To import, we are going to import this date. To the database, not using it for now. Okay. Mm, okay. You have a blank database, right? Uh, yeah. You access. You open the access, and then here, can you see the page slide page nine? Yeah, blank database. Yeah, and the name is pattern last associate. Oh wait, no, I didn't do that file. Let me open it again. Yes, you name it uh, like this. And the create. I have to name it like that. Okay. And choose a location to save it. I want to save it to the to my desktop. Uh, okay, anywhere you can find it. I mean, on my download, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. And. Create. Yeah, click create. Mm -hmm. Now everyone gets this page, right? By default, it will give you one table. Table one is our default name. Um, okay, here uh, this this slide is just showing uh, how to use use a template. Uh, here there are so many templates you can use. It's similar similar to the PowerPoint tem template, but here for our project we don't use any any templates. We just use a blank blank database. And uh, you can see this this window uh, here. This uh, on the left side is a navigation pane. It will show you how many tables. Here, by default, only tables one. We are going to create uh, the other two tables. And in your real life work, uh, you can build a lot of tables here. And the table's name, uh, and we are going to create the report's name and form name. They are all displayed in this navigation pane. 
and another is a work area. This area is a work area. And status, uh, status bar, just the bottom of this bar is called status bar. Um, date sheet view or design view. You are going to see it on next slide. Uh, this this table is going to have two kind of view. One it is now is the data sheet view, and another is the uh, design view. How we design this table? Okay. Um, because the table we already see the table, they have. Uh, yeah. And here, the table, they have different uh, columns. Each column has a name. These names are called the fields of a table. Field of a, of a table. And we need to design this field, this field. The fields, you can choose the type. Uh, is text type or number type. If you define, you choose a number type for a field, you can't enter, add, enter any letters uh, or other other signs on the date. Um, yes, sir. yes. What is access for? What is it used for? Um, and this from slide two to slide four is an ex explanation you missed. Um, right. Yeah, it's a database database manage system. It will store some information. Um, user tables, for example, we already um, by default have a table. And this project, we have two tables. In the tables, we store the information. For example, um, let me give you an example. The, your credit card have a lot of information to, you have a card ID and your name and your password and your money uh, your, your money account this information you entered through the website and this all this information will be sent to the back end of the bank uh, of the bank bank database system and the database will store all your information okay. in the tables and uh, for the bank, they use the other database managed system, some, some big and uh, complex software. This access is only a simple, simple version of database managed systems. It's good for some small business. It's very appropriate, uh, easy to learn and cheap. The price is, uh, is not high. And uh, yeah, just like that. <laughs> uh, here we are going to design the table. Uh, um, inside the tables is just the field. You create the fields, then you can. Uh, in Excel, we don't need to, to do anything about the column names. Just enter a name, and we, we can enter the date. But here on the uh, access, we can choose the, the, the fields uh, types. Uh, and on each table, it has a primary key. What a uh, primary key is? Primary key is a unique identifier for, uh, uh, for, a, tab uh, for a record. One information, one record. If you don't have an obvious choice, use the primary key that access created automatically. For example, ID, it will, uh, it is an number field. Here is, uh, here is the type of a field you can choose. And commonly used, uh, the short text type, the number type, currency type, and the date and time. Date and time. Okay. 
Okay, here let's create our uh, first field. The first field is by default is ID. You don't need to do anything. Also, you can rename rename it. We want it to be a uh, account number. Account many, uh, account manager, manager number. Okay. I'm going to create the, the account manager table first. I run down this step. We don't have a question here. Let's move to test. And I'm pressing on it on the ID. I don't see what. How do I rename it? Um, there is a rename. Right click. Oh, right click. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I right click and it doesn't give me the option to rename it. Mm, let me show you on my screen. Let's see here. Um, see, can you see your just click? Uh, I, I can build a new table. ID. Uh, can, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, right click. And no. you don't it have, give me an option. You but I can type it in. It's, it's, it's letting me type in. Oh, okay. Just, uh, okay, that's a good, 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 good idea too. Double click, then you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. okay, after change change the name to account manage number, we can it doesn't let me do that part. Oh, change, change the name huh you can't change this name no the next part with the field size uh, this one mm -hmm. okay um fields let me put my screen to show you And then um, can you? Field. It, it let me change the name in the caption, but the field size, it's not letting yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, mine is like this too. Let me see. Professor. What's the problem? Hey. Try, try changing the data type. Data type? Yeah. Data type. Where is the data type? Right there on, on your right. Huh? In formatting. My team? Yeah, data, data type. Oh. Oh yeah, after you change it to short text and this uh, step one is to change the type and then you can change the field size. Nice one, Leon.
properties. Where is the properties caption on me? I'm sorry, I want to find the properties and the field properties. It's it's name and caption. To change the name you're talking about, the field yeah. properties under name and caption on top of default value. No, you see field oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Description here, you can you can write anything to make yourself uh, clear, unique. Identify. Then, okay, then we done these two steps, this and produce three steps. Yes, here you choose dif uh, different data type, it will give you different options uh, under this read area. Okay. And here it unique. You check this unique. It will be the um, prim primary key. Okay, let's go back to see what we are going to do next step. Anyone else uh, a problem about this this step? No, let's see next step. Um, modify the primary key. We already we already done. This here is just a display for sure. And then we are going to create the rest of the fields. Um, you can you. Uh, you can use several minutes to work on this field. Um, for wait, how do you do that? Um, just click. Let me sh show you on my. See, you click to add here. You can click to add. First, you need to select a type uh, from the last name until the until the set, the state, they are all short text. Uh, short text. The type is short text. Can you see my screen? Yeah. And then enter the name. Uh, this one is last name. And you're done. You can move to next one. Next one, the same thing. Choose a short text. And that is first name. Next one is speed. And the next one, salary. Here, don't choose short text anymore. Choose uh, currency. And there will be a zero dollars uh, automatically display here. And next one, 
bonus rate is a number. Wait, can you slow down a little bit? Yes. Uh, where are you now? Just finished salary. What do I do after salary? Okay. Um, click next is number. After click number is bonus rate. Because it's number type, so here um, automatically there is a zero number here. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you done. Done with this step. And the next step, we are going to save. Uh, save this table. Uh, just control S uh, and add your 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 regular save. Control, uh, Wait a minute. I have I don't have account manager or table one. It just says table one. Yeah, we are going to rename it. Uh, you can rename this table one. I don't, I don't know where the account manager one went. Uh, that one is I already built it. After you're done, you will have the, that. Oh, okay. Because that's how, yeah, that's how my screen looks now. Yeah. Now you you change the name to account manager. And then click OK, you will save it. And the table one. Here I can because I already have the two tables. I just name another one. Um, for bonus rate, what do we press on again? Sorry, uh, not short text. What do we press on on it? Oh, what is that it? salary? Oh, no, for bonus rate. Number. Bonus rate. Number. Yes. Number. Okay, thank you. But bonus rate is number. Salary is kind. Of and see, now your table one, the name of table one is changed to the name you just enter. Okay, uh, see, before you save as a change your name, it's table one. And after that, this, after you click OK, here will be the account manager. And then next, let's, let's see the table in design view. This view is called the date sheet view. After you enter the date view, you can see it will display all the date. And the design view, you click this view button, uh, still under the fields tab. View, design. And another way is just right click on the account number tab and click the design view. I don't know what I did, but it just changed my whole thing and I don't know how to go back. Yeah, uh, like this. Yeah, right? Right. yeah you right click again. Uh, you, you click the date sheet view again, it will back, will be back. Okay, got it. So what am I supposed to press, data sheet view? Uh, they did shift view. Yeah, you can switch between these two views flexible. They need me to show show that. 
Okay, let me show you. This one, but this is calculation important. See, now by default is called the data sheet view. You have two ways to switch to the design view. I like the, this way, actually, it's easier. Just right click design view and it will change to the design view. And right click again, data sheet view, and we'll be back. In the design view, you can see your 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 design, uh, you, what you just did. Uh, these these fields are all short short text type, and this is currency, this is number, and here is what you entered when you changed uh, changes the ID, the account number, the manager number. And if you uh, later when we update this database, we can try to change the, the types or other things here. We are going to use this design view. Okay, um, let's back to our next step. Uh, on this step, we want to change the field size to two, but uh, actually we already changed it, right? If you already changed it, we don't need, need to do just Just let you know the field the size is. These two here. Only allowed the two uh, two digits uh, two uh, two digits on this field. The account number is thirty one thirty five like that. You in your real world you can design any size. So we should make it two instead of two fifty five. Yeah, here just make sure it's two and format you leave it blank. We are going to use this format uh, in the following steps. After you're done. Here it's a uh, remand. And we should use the design view to carefully check the entry you have made. Make, make sure everything is you want yeah, will work. And uh, let's continue to design the bonus rate field. We wanted uh, its number type. But under the number tab, you have a um, lot of choices, to, a lot of choices to change. You can choose the format. Format is, uh, you, if you click the, the button, you, okay, let me, let me switch. This, this type. Uh, you can change it to here. We use the single. They have they have different different types. I don't That's have that. Where you can you can number. You make it. sure make sure you select your focus is on the bold oh. yellow one. It's the bonus rate. Yeah, we're working on this. One. Oh, wait, what was the other one on? Where you go to? Uh, last one, last one, we work on this one. Account number. Oh. We work on this one. And uh, bonus rate. 
we want to fill the size, so we choose this single type. Single is the shortest one. And the longer integer, the integer we don't need, we don't need uh, that. Means that you can enter a, a, a long, a very large number. And here, for example, for a simple example, we just use the shortest, the lightest one. And for format, here, you click this drop down, you can see you have so many, so many formats you can use. And we use this one, it's called fixed. Fixed, we don't add the dollar signs, we don't add common, just this, this format. If you need in your work, you can choose any one you want. And the decimal places, uh, you can you can choose any. If you want to leave only one, you can write one here. Here we use two. Okay, after we done these two designs, you can close the table. Just click this close button. Make sure it, it's this one. Close the table. Oh. Not close the whole database, only this table. I don't see the X. Uh, see, see what? I don't see the X. Is that um, for, for, for me, it's actually like, you see where it says account manager? That's yeah, where mine is, and it says um, Yeah, just click the X over there if you don't see it. Thank you so much. Wait, how do I know that it's saved? Oh, well, you click X. Oh yeah, you you don't you, you if only you open the database you can find it. You don't need to know where you saved it. Uh, it's saved inside your database. After you, you close and you can click, double click on the table name again to, to open open it. Here it just just telling you there is a close table button here. You open the table again and we want to enter another two fields. How do you open it again? Uh, double click on double click uh, on the account table name. Do you see here? Yeah, but mine says table one. Oh, you didn't change the name. You can rename it. Oh, I did. No, you 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 can re rename it the table one. How? Uh, right click on table one. And do you see rename? Yeah, it says you can't rename the database object table one while it's open. Uh, you close it. So how do I close it? Oh. Just click the close button. What's the name? Uh, account manager. And how many tables are uh, here on, on, on your on your pin on your this area? I only have one. Okay. And after you open it, is it uh, the one you just made? You just created? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, good. You can just rename it to account manager. Um I saved mine and then I opened it up again and it there's nothing on there. Huh? I press on account manager and then it, nothing comes up. Uh, that uh, double click. Yeah, I did. 
And, and then I, it opens up. It opens up to how, like, uh, in the beginning, what we did in the beginning. Oh, you didn't say you, you didn't click yes save. Here. Yeah, yeah, I did. I pressed yes, and then I went to a blank screen, and then it opened up again, and then it shows the beginning of what we did. Um. If so, can you just uh try to create again uh, only one field and then close, then reopen to see if you can successfully uh save. So I have to do it again, or should I go to um, uh, table design? But if I go to table design, it doesn't have nothing on there. Yeah, yeah, you you lost everything. I know. Um, you you uh, I, I I don't know why it isn't sealed. Maybe you mistake mistake a mistake to do something. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know where it went. My whole page. Yeah, it just disappeared. I did everything. You just have a blank screen. You always have a blank screen. Yeah, I got I got a blank screen for a few minutes, and then it opened up again, and it says account manager. I double click on it, but nothing comes up. It just comes up as like the beginning of what we did, where we were right, 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 right. Oh, first yeah. name, street, city. You have to change the view. I think. Um, on the side, it should like you see where it says all oh, access objects. Does it like see like where it says, does it show you like tables or anything on the side? No, I think Sarah's right. You have to change the view again and then you go back. You 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 can uh, now you can for test you can just uh change one add one from the beginning. Let's do it again. Don't worry. Um, just change. Make the first one, then save, then reopen to see if it's successfully uh, um, saved. How do I delete a table? Because I have two ta extra tables. I have table one and table two. How do I delete? Uh, right, right click, and there, there will be a delete button. Right click on the table you want to delete. Um, on the MacBook, it doesn't, it doesn't do the, the right click. So, um, you can find delete button from other words, I believe. Let me see. Mm. Design. Okay. Uh, let me see. Sure. Well, um, Valera, you can try to add one to sale to see if you can su successfully. So, uh, who, who was asking to delete? Yeah, me. I was asking to delete because I have oh. the account manager and then on the sides, uh, it shows that I have table one and table two. Oh, um, you click the account number. Do you have? Yeah, I click on account number and then on the top, like in the middle, like, um, yeah, no, wait, move the mouse up. Okay. Next to the account manager. There's two okay. slides. Okay, so you want to delete the use, use these tables, right? Oh yeah, I want to delete table one and table two, but it if I right click, it doesn't give me the option. It doesn't, nothing comes up if I right click. Okay, you can leave it here. Do you see the delete button here? On home, the home tab. Um, yeah. It doesn't let me delete it though. I press on delete and it doesn't. Uh, you close, you need to close everything. if I don't close. Yeah, it, I have that. I have the table one on the top. If not, you need to close the table first and then it, I didn't see it. Yeah, I have it like that. I have two tables. Okay, close it first. And then here, Right, right click all, click this, delete. It doesn't delete. come up, it doesn't come up as on the tables slides. It comes up as like when I open up account manager, it comes up as two slides from account manager. It doesn't come up on the, on the tables. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't come up on that side. It comes up on the, on the top middle side. 
Oh, um, so next it's, to account manager. Yeah, we can drag. Uh, we can re um, design the or drag it the pin to somewhere. Maybe it, it's like that. If if only you can you can find this this tab is okay. Table tab. Yeah, I have the table tab open, but I don't have like um the 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 table. Oh, the, the, this area, right? This I is, have that. I have that. I just don't. I have the tables next to account. Like you see where account manager is in the middle. Yeah. No. 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 In the middle. That yeah. there. I have the tables. Oh, because you 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 close yeah, it. You close it. You no, it is, I don't have the X option. I don't have the. I can't press on X. There's no X on my ver. On the right side, uh, on the right side, do you have the close button here? Uh, yeah, I have an X. Should I press on that? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, close, close that. And then, oh, okay. And then they're gone now. But then how do I get everything else back? Because I saved it, but now it's um like how we had it in the beginning. Uh, you double click the account manager. Your account manager. Yeah, everything. I don't know why everything deleted. Um, I double click on it and it shows me in the beginning how we had like last name, first name. Yeah, and now on your this tables tab, how many tables do you have now? I only have one. I only have the account manager. Did you did you change the view? How do I change the view? That's yeah, yeah, like, the change. Right, yeah, and then you see it all. Like this. How do I do that? Right click on the account manager. Uh, right click doesn't work on it. Huh. Uh, do I press okay, on view it? here? Yeah, view yeah. on the home button. Uh, yeah. design view. The de design, yeah, design tab. Then, okay, I got it now. Thank you. Did sheet view you have this, this, these fields? Those fields, um, not all that stuff though. We didn't do it when we did it. I have it on, I have design view, right? Or you want it on data sheet view now? Okay, on the data sheet view, is it, uh, is it blank or has, has something? Uh, data, data sheet view is blank, but design view is the way that we had it before. Okay, design view is... Yeah, it's like that, yes. Yeah, that's correct. We didn't, mm -hmm. didn't lose anything. Mm -hmm. So did I save it correctly or how do I save it this time? I don't know if I saved it correctly. Uh, I think you already saved it. We haven't changed it. Yeah. Next time, next time, next step after they do something, you can click save just add okay. regular save. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, still so the views problem makes you confusion. In this design view, you can't see the date. You can only see the, the your your design, <laughs> the field's name and the date type like this. And on the date sheet view, next step we are going to enter this date. You can see this date. Uh, here is to modify the primary key. Uh, how to modify? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, we are already done this. Yes. Where, where, where are we? We are going to add new. Now you reopen after you saved the the table. You reopen it again. We are going to insert two new, uh, two more fields on this table. After the, uh, before the salary, you select the salary column and then right click, right click insert field. And we are going to insert these two fields one by one. First is postal code, type it is short text. 
and after the postal code is start date. What if um, right click doesn't work? Right click doesn't work. You can use the design view. Uh, let me show you. Switch to the design view. See here, uh, let me show. Uh, so um, first, let us let me show you this this data sheet view. Mm -hmm. uh, before salary, right click. This is how right click works. You can in see, in insert. And after the first one, insert the first one, you come back to this salary again to insert the second field. If this, your right click doesn't work, you see. Okay, let's go to the design view. Design view. Uh, here you can just add, add the uh, Excel. You want to insert something before the salary, right? Select the salary. Then right click here. Mine says field one, not field two. Uh, you 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 insert one by one. I have to insert another one. Yeah, the first one is a uh, postal code. Second one is that date. Okay. Um. So I insert it. Um. Valerie, so I insert yeah. it below a bonus rate then. I have bonus rate. A bonus rate. You 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 need to insert before the salary. Um, but um, we wrote but we wrote salary and then bonus rate. That's salary. what it says. Yeah. Salary insert rows, and here you can enter. Enter the first one we are going to insert is postal code. Post but my postal code is is under field two, not field one. Uh, you don't need to. Enter this field one and field two. I just didn't rename it. Uh, okay, so I need to rename it, right? Yeah. Yeah. The postal so code. I understand. Postal code is a short text, and the start date is date and time. See, this is short text, and the start date. But how do I type in between um, state and salary? You have to how make more cells. Is, see? OK, let me do it again. Uh, let me redo it. Oh, I drag it down? I think I got it. Uh, you you drag it down, right? OK, you can change the, change the order. I drag, mm -hmm. no, you can't, you can't. Okay. You can, yes, it worked, you can drag. But it's hard to drag, I see. It's not so. <laughs> I, I drag this here, but it doesn't go back. Yeah, it's hard to, to drag it. Yeah, it's it's not easy to drag. Let me just. I was trying to drag it, and now the 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 chart is thicker. Um, how do I change it back? It changes the order back. No, um, now that the boxes are bigger, because I was trying to move them around, and now the boxes are bigger. Oh, you double. Yeah, like that. Yeah, just uh, looks like this. And yeah. Double, have, wait, double click doesn't work. Okay, you can no. drag it to make it smaller. Oh, okay. But um, I'm still not able to move it. Salary. Okay. I will. Yes, if you want to ask, if you want to silk. Make sure you click yes. Here we use this data sheet view. First, we choose it. 
That is so good as the as the, the design view. Design view works right, I think. This is is date and time tab. Then you save it. After you change anything, make sure you have better to save it in case you lost accidentally like close. Close the okay. Oh time is Fast. We done. We done with this. Uh, adding these two fields. Now we finished the design of this table. What we did, we designed the name. Enter the field name and type, and also we change the size of account manager, and uh, the number we format. We give our format of the bonus. Uh, bonus rate field and next step we are going to enter enter the date one by one and uh, in the uh, one thing I need to uh, to, man to, to mention in this uh, number number field the bonus rate you can't enter any letters inside you can only enter the numbers and uh okay today's class we don't have more time next class we are going to continue to enter the date thank you very much enter date yes and you don't need to how do i know the saved for next class i'm scared i'm gonna exit out yeah. and it's gonna oh, okay you um you can can you log in your email? Log in where? Your email. Where? Uh, use the IE. Log in to your Gmail email account and attach it. Send it to yourself or to me to uh, both okay. You can send it next time from your email box. Um, but what if we're already signed into our um, CUNY account? CUNY, CUNY email account? Yeah, because it says on the on the right side, it says my name and it says that it's, um, do I switch the account? It says account settings, or what should I do? Mm, you... Should I press file and then... Um... How do I send it to you? Yeah. We don't have to send it yet, right? No, but I'm scared it won't save. So just in case. Yeah, you you don't file, need. File save as. It doesn't work like that for me. Let's save to to your virtual machine. How do I send it to you or to me or whatever? How do I save it? Oh, um, let me show you. Just attach. Okay. Let can me... I share my screen with you so you could show me exactly how? We're done. Can we go? Uh, yes, for other students, if you're down and don't have any question, you can go. Thank and... you very much. See you on Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye. Professor. Yes. Do we change the field size for the rest of the columns or just the first one? Oh, uh, just the first one. Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah, just the first one. The size is only two. Uh, it's only two. You can enter only two 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 digits for that account if you you change everything or uh, change all the sites you will be not able to enter the regular I date my screen with you. yes let me do you the okay you can share now 
Okay, so um, this is it. And now, how do I send it or save it? Like, how do I know it's gonna be here for、um, next month? Can Can you show your desktop? Show me your desktop. I want to see if it's there. You、What、just you... minimize. Click Click the minimize button. You can see. Oh God. You You don't need to drag. Just click the the minimize button on the right top. The minus minus sign minus. Yeah, minus. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, you didn't save it on the desktop. Okay. I did. I, I, mean, I thought I did. Okay. How do I get back there? Now click your access button. Access.、Uh, not not this one. Not this. Not not there. Just the database you already opened. Oh yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, and then file, click that file. Uh, save as. Okay, save as. Um, save, save. Click save, please. Save. Uh, not not save as the save. On the left side. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Left side. Save. Okay, you need to save it again. Um, it doesn't let me save. Also, uh, go to the file, file again. Save. Um,、uh, save as. Save object as. You you click the uh, no. No, still still did it at, and click your maximize button to make to make your screen use the full screen, cause I can't see, and、uh, not that one, the maximize button of accept yes accept, make this window bigger, this yes, and still at here you can see this at. Let me see. Okay, come back to the to 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 the、uh, data sheet view. Yes, and close the table account table account manager. No, no, no. You don't need to do that. Just、no. just click the close table button. Yes, yes, yes. And then go to file, click that save as again. But now, where did it save? Uh, wait, wait a minute. And computer, let me see. This is what I did last time, but it didn't save. Uh, and go to your device. Uh, to minimize this virtual machine, click just click the save button. Already exists, yes. And then minimize your virtual machine screen. Go to your、uh, you use Mac computer. Go to your desktop. Desktop. Don't close it. It's not letting me. Make sure don't close it. Just leave it.、There. It's not letting me go out. You see how、okay. the time is. Yeah, wait, just just wait. Oh yeah. How do I go out to make this smaller? Uh, in the on the top right, there will be a minimize the minus sign.、Click. On on the left, on the left side, yeah. Oh. Um. And do you yeah, see? Yeah, I see it. Do you see that file on your on my regular desktop? Yes. Okay, so I have it. Yeah. Next time you, uh, how to do you know how to move it to your virtual machine? No, but we'll figure that out next class. Okay. When we, you can try copy and paste. If that doesn't work, you can attach. Let me see if it's here. One second. 
Here, wait, let me. Um, one second. It doesn't let me share my regular. Oh, wait, no. It's not what I meant to do. 